woman who decided to become a single mom at 38. Emma Brock's first told her story to the New York Times, a revealing look at her ups and downs with lessons for other women thinking of having children on their own. Ariel Reshef met with Brox to learn more about it. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, George. Good morning, everyone. A lot of women can relate to this. Emma Brock says for years she didn't feel any urge to have kids. Then she hit her late 30s and everything changed. With no partner, she decided to become a mom by herself. Now she's opening up about life with her twins as a solo parent and telling other single women it's okay to just do it. For Emma Brox, this is a typical afternoon. Caring for her twin girls without the help of a partner. Choosing to become a single parent, a decision she candidly revealed in her op-ed for the New York Times. Single at 38, have that baby. When I turned 37, for the first time ever, out of the corner of my eye, I could see 40. And for the first time, my panic at not being able to get pregnant or not being able to have children was bigger than my fear of doing it alone. Single parent households in the U.S. have nearly doubled since the 1970s. In 2017, there were roughly 10,000 mother-only homes, something Emma sees as a net positive. In fact, she wrote the book on it, called An Excellent Choice. I think the ability of women to have children on their own in a thoughtful, responsible way is a relatively new alternative. But her piece in the New York Times sprouting some skeptics. I read one of the comments. Maybe I can speak from the perspective of a child of a single mother. Male role models don't cut it. They're not my daddy. That's very valid. But the fact is that everyone is different. And there's absolutely nothing to suggest that children born to single mothers by choice suffer at all in the long term. Research, much of it done in countries where there is more daycare and social support for parents, shows kids from elective single mother households can thrive. The social and practical support is key. You're not saying that dads don't matter. Absolutely not. My, I adore my own dad, um, and he has been incredibly important to me. It's a particular solution to a particular circumstance that affects millions of women in their late 30s. It has nothing to do with the um, pool of available men. Emma readily admits that single motherhood has its challenges. Raising twins as a single mom is a total nightmare in, <laughs> in lots of ways, in all the ways that you would expect. I'm exhausted, I'm stretched far too thin. But it's also the most joyful experience that I could ever possibly have imagined. And she acknowledges that choosing to be a single mom is a luxury many women just simply can't afford. The choice that I've made is definitely a luxurious choice, and I'm very, very aware of that. But she says she's no different from any other parent. That's the takeaway from the whole experience, is that it's not vastly different from anyone else's experience of parenting. And Emma says her decision to become a solo parent was actually harder than parenting alone. She had to ignore the judgment and concern of others and also face some of her own fears. She also tells me it's uh, forced her to be outward a little bit and rely on her neighbors, something she was never comfortable with before. But you learn then they're willing to help. Yeah, and they are willing to help. She said she got to know her neighbors in her apartment building. They know her kids. Everybody mm. is sort of a family. She created her own family. You create unit. that awesome. community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay, Ariel. Thanks a lot. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.